this much. What? Is it on? Can you see me? Okay. Hi, welcome everyone to the worldwide premiere of uh, the Insider's Guide to SEM Rush. Um, I'm Krista Tidman, and as you can see, and I'm a customer success manager here at SEM Rush. And we're going to first uh, go over the brand monitoring tool today and uh, get into the festive Christmas spirit. Uh, and I will show you soon about how you can use it uh, in different ways and showing you the tips and tricks of, you know, besides just monitoring your own brand also monitoring uh, your competitors, seeing what else is out there, and um, just understanding what else you could be taking advantage of uh, in those different campaigns. So first, I'm going to display my screen and show the dashboard so we can get started. And I didn't know if everyone noticed yet, but we do have a new dashboard now. Um, so in SEM Rush, we recently just launched this. And now we have a section where it's a different navigation for the different tools. So it makes it a lot easier for the user to understand where they want to go inside the tool and where they want to first start off with. Because SEM Rush, as you know, has so many different features that you can utilize for for your optimization and even um, PPC, social media, content marketing, and what we love, it's our bread and butter, that competitive insight. So here is that new drop down that you can use. So I just wanted to show everyone before we begin. And in the content marketing portion is where we will find our brand monitoring tool. So it's pretty cool uh, when you choose this. If you want to navigate this way, I recommend it. You know, it's helpful, very user friendly. Looks good. Okay, so now I'm going to dive out and get into the projects, which is where we will find my one that I just started. Um, and a project, just to let everyone know, reminds me of like a campaign for a domain. And the reason why I say that is just because inside of a project, if you don't already know, there are so many tools that you can utilize for that one domain in all different areas. So we're gonna be focusing primarily just on the brand monitoring tool. And I set it up and I have two other campaigns currently running inside. So since I was saying earlier, we wanna focus on um, kind of Xmas, toys, why not? Um, so I, I know parents right now are probably searching for a lot of these toys for their, uh, their, for their little ones online. And I know I am for my nephew. So I was actually pretty curious to see, you know, how those different, uh, you know, toy niches and um, I guess groups in general, um, you know, how they rank online and what's being searched on them. So for Toys R Us, I chose Frozen for the first campaign and also uh, Batman. <laughs> Great choices, uh, opposites, but whatever. Um, so to start the new one with you guys today, I'm gonna choose Star Wars. So to set up, and first off, a brand monitoring tool, we will scour the internet to find all of those brand mentions and really help you understand and discover what channels are being used by your competitors for types of brands that you choose, um, and also for yourself, you know, what is being said online. So PR managers, social media, anyone involved in link building even would love to see this and understand, you know, where it is being represented online. So to first set it up, I'm gonna choose what we talked about, Star Wars. I know that everyone um, is obsessed and also in my office, I know they all are trying to see the movie tonight. Uh, so Star Wars will be the campaign title and that's just for you to understand and identify the campaign. So you know uh, quickly off the bat, you know, which one was it? So that's not what we're searching by. However, the main uh, keyword will be the one that we are scouring the internet for. And always, if you want, so for example, I want to look up just Star Wars toys because I'm Toys R Us. And sadly, I think they're closing a bunch of stores. And so I want to understand how are people searching for Star Wars toys online, as well as how is it being promoted by my competitors? So I'm going to choose Star Wars as the main keyword. And I would put N, the end keyword would be toys and then press enter. 
So now it's just going to be focusing on those phrases. And we have the choice of choosing language or country. Uh, and it just, just depends if you're global, you know, if you're um, just focused on the U.S. for now, which I will choose, so just by country. And you can always send those emailed reports, but don't worry, they don't have to be at 3 a.m. Um, we're not up at that time ever. Uh, I don't know about everybody else, but let's start tracking. And let's see what we have. So, wow, good. It's uploading very fast. All right, this is good. Wi-Fi's going great today. <laughs> so thanks, everyone, again, for attending. Um, it's going to be a great first webinar. Why not? Um, all right, so that's setting up and loading. So I'll go back to one that I already have set up. So the previous one was Batman. And as you can see, um, it's showing us, and the way that these mentions default to uh, to preview here is that we're showing you the ones from the latest time and date. So that is how it's defaulted to show. And you see right there, we always provide that date and time we did find that mention online. Um, and when I say online, uh, you know, on the web, it could be news sites, blogs, you know, anything. Uh, it could be even um, a review. So here, uh, looking at this, it literally is talking about different Batman movies. And also showing us if we want, we can also uh, favorite or even get rid of those mentions if I don't want to see them again. So it's very helpful and beneficial to you know have around and definitely keep track of those mentions. Why not? So it seems like there is a lot of Star Wars mentions online, and they're still collecting. So so far there is 827. But as we're looking at this, what we're really seeing is what the actual, you know, what was it called, the article? What was the, the name, that title? As well as where it was from, so the news right there, and what domain. Also, if we find the author, we plug that in. And a new set, something new that was recently added is that we can per help you, uh, depending on what is in our database for your domain, uh, if you have a backlink already acquired with that, um, with that mention, so that domain. And right here, it's letting us know. So that's just setting up and loading, but it lets us know automatically there is none. So good to know if there are backlink opportunities. Okay, so we're all set up. Perfect. Um, so when I'm looking at this, um, I know it seems like maybe like a lot at first, but it, it really is a lot. Uh, it's very user friendly and easy for you to control. And when I say that, I mean it because we can, besides favoriting things, to always have them and they'd be right there in the tab that I can quickly get to. Also, I can add tags that will help me filter all of those different mentions out. Uh, so if this one, I want to do like Star Wars. Um, I don't even know. Uh, article. So I'm just going to press enter. And I might have to refresh it just to make sure it's there. But it told me the tag was mentioned. So one moment. Okay, good. So this one was about the Frozen campaign I had, but let's go back into Star Wars. Good, so the Star Wars article is involved in that. So I would go into the advanced filters and I would add in if I wanna just look at, you know, just the mentions or the tags that I added to it. So you can have as many tags as you want on, you know, multiple mentions or, you know, all different types. So it's gonna be a lot easier for you as a team working together to find brand mentions as well as just sorting them out. Um, I know who would want to sort out manually over 827, you know, um, mentions. It's a lot, es especially um, in the last 90 days, you know, we're giving you all of that, what has been mentioned online. So another really easy way that you can, uh, you know, definitely organize this as well as more tips and tricks, because uh, this is overlooked a lot of the time. So don't forget, you can add those tags. Uh, besides that, besides the tags, you can always search by any mention to quickly find something. If you have a niche that you're looking for, you could literally do Star Wars um, and, and just find them, or you could do movies, whatever you want. And making it a lot easier for you to figure out what mentions you want. 
Um, so there's a lot of areas of advanced filters, which I always like using in SEM Rush. Uh, before we go into the Twitter section, I just want to show you that the BM score here, uh, a lot of people always ask, you know, what is it? And it's just our brand monitoring score, which basically is the same metric as the domain authority. So we always have that there. Okay. Um, so the other side of the brand monitoring tool is our Twitter section. Uh, so we like to divide it. And it's good for, I mean, anyone that's working in PR, especially social media managers, because they want to understand who is uh, a top mentioner or on Twitter that is tweeting out, uh, you know, anything about their company or their brand. And especially if they have a, a, a very high Twitter volume, you know, those followers, because you would want them to mention you more. And you can reach out to them. So we give you how many tweets they have, their followers, right off the bat. So you know exactly who, and we highlight right there how they mentioned it. So it could be good, it could be bad. Oh gosh. But if it is bad, you know, at least at least you find it. Um, okay. So now we're going back to the web. And uh, also, just one little tip and trick. Say if you don't want to see that domain again because it was a bad um, kind of, uh, it wasn't something that would relate to you and you just don't want it to be shown again. You can block one of the domains and, you know, if there was any other, uh, you know, subdomain or subfolder that was relating to it that is here, it would be blocked as well. So don't worry. You can always block those domains. Okay. So now that I started this, we went through the web and the Twitter section. We also have uh, the statistics. So who doesn't like stats? So we're letting you see from each different campaign, you can have three inside of one brand monitoring tool. So I can look at all of the different campaigns next to each other and understand, you know, how, how, how have they been online? Um, has it been mentioned a lot? You know, Star Wars has been pretty up and down. I, I can't believe it just dip that much in today, who knows? Um, but hey, that's the internet. And down here, we're gonna look at all of them. So this lets you know, measured by the actual graph down here, you know, understanding for Toys R Us um, and all those different campaigns, how often is it being searched online? And at the, all the way at the bottom, a lot of people overlook this, but it is going to let you see those resources. So um, who were, uh, it's measured by that domain authority, so the brand monitoring score again. So whoever has the high score, that's why we're letting you know, like they're mentioning, um, for that instance, for Tumblr, they're mentioning Batman um, toys. So that's why that one was at the top, because they were credible and, you know, there are the resources that mention it. So good to know and definitely know who else is out there and, you know, discover those opportunities for you. And the block section, literally just the ones that you want to block and you don't want those domains to pop up again. And the last portion was just letting you understand more about the tool. So we always have that inside here and, um, very, and a lot of helpful resources within SEMrush always. Um, don't forget, you can always export this as well. Um, so if you'd rather have that, you know, feel free. And I'm pretty sure we went over a lot of it today. Um, so before we step out, I'm going to open up the questions, if anyone has any, on the tool. So, um, the you asked um, is a mention something you can use instead of a Google alert. So um, I I haven't used a Google alert in a while. Um, so a brand mention for this example, um, you don't. So you never have to actually use your brand. Um, you can use a product that you sell, even a niche. You just want to know what's going on online. Uh, so it won't directly alert you. You can get weekly updates, uh, but this would be the area that you would go into to literally manually check out, you know, how it's being mentioned online and um, be aware of what is out there. I think with uh, our brand monitoring tool, I'm pretty sure we give you a lot more on the analytics side besides just showing you the domain who mentioned you. Um, you know, we get into 
uh, Twitter, as well as um, the date, the time, what is their actual um, domain authority score, knowing if they're creditable. So um, over time, we will collect the history as well. So I think a little bit different, but kind of the same concept. And you can have three campaigns, um, multiple alerts in that example. But yeah, uh, brand monitoring tool is great. Um, I really like it uh, to understand. Uh, also, besides just figuring out, um, you know, what is going on with general research, uh, you can even choose uh, if you want to understand uh, how is someone being promoted online. I've seen uh, different companies definitely use even names, so how their CEO is represented, um, how their departments are represented online. Definitely doesn't just have to be the brand; can be anything you want. Uh, just has to. Okay. Yep, only three campaigns uh, in one project. So one brand monitoring tool has three involved. So for each project, you have three campaigns. Because this is one project. So yeah. Um, very beneficial and fun to see during the holidays. Look at that. Frozen. Batman. Star Wars. And you can go right to everything that's being mentioned. So I can go in here and click on toys. Let's see. So now I'm specifying it like Legos. Legos are still very popular. I feel like I heard they have a Lego, they have some like Lego land now, like PA, not the real Lego land. Okay. But it's in a, it's in a mall or something. It's like a, I don't, nothing for Lego is sponsored by a CM rush, but if they want to, um, okay. Yeah. Re-explain the concept of a project. No worries. So, uh, projects, what are they? Um, so they remind me of like a campaign for a domain. And the reason why I say that is because uh, inside the projects, so I'm inside the project section right now, which is underneath the management portion. And it allows you for one domain, you can have all of these different tools for SEO, PPC, brand monitoring, um, content creation, backlink building, um, all of this in one. And once you set a project up for a domain, you know, you have this always in there that can update daily, weekly, uh, you can get emailed reports, and it's something that you can have to measure your, not only yourself, but your co competition at the same time. And that is a huge thing with SEM Rush, that competitor discovery. So the projects are probably, don't tell anyone, but they are my favorite part of SEM Rush. Um, they're very beneficial. Uh, I like them a lot. I mean, come on, uh, they're great. So definitely get a head start whenever you have a subscription and you're new, start a project. Uh, Cause you wanna know how you rank on the national level, local level, you could take it down to that and see where you stack up next to those competitors. And we can help you out. So a project is great to set up and you have all of these different tools inside. So a lot. And if you also would like a trial or you want to test it out, or if you're an existing user uh, right now, you're talking to the right person. So uh, we want to definitely nurture and make sure that everyone is fully uh, utilizing the tool. So if you are an existing user and you'd like a walkthrough or a demo, that's when I come in. Um, so please let me know. Uh, you can reach out to mail at SEMrush, which is at the bottom right here. Or you could directly, um, it's krista.semrush, it's krista.tidman at semrush.com. If you want to email me, um, and I will answer you, and we can set something up. So yes, projects are a must, definitely do that.
And just to let everyone know, since this was the first worldwide premiere, thank you so much again for attending. It means a lot to me. This is fun. And I want to make sure, you know, everything, uh, everyone understands why the tools are so important and why you should utilize them. So just to give you a heads up for next, uh, so we're going to, it's bi-weekly, uh, but we have a little bit of a vacay since, hey, Christmas is next week. I need to hang out too. Um, so Krista needs a break. So we're going to start the next one on January 9th. It's still going to be a Tuesday, always at 1 p.m. Uh, so I will send that out as well, and it will be on the PPC keyword tool and the ads builder. So that's what the next one will be on. They'll be combined. Uh oh. Um, but it's going to be good. Definitely good. So if anyone has any more questions, concerns, hopefully nice comments or anything that they want to learn about today with SEM Rush and figuring out why should I use the brand monitoring tool? We went over it earlier, but you should be using it if you want to understand how those brands are being mentioned online. Um, any phrase, any niche. Okay, thank you everyone for bearing. Okay, um, so I'm gonna. Hey guys, thanks. Um, this has been great today. Um, thank you so much. Um, it means a lot to us and me. You know, SCM Rush is uh, something that you definitely want to use. Uh, any any concept in digital marketing, you want to understand and know how your competition is ranking online. Uh, and SCM Rush has that bread and butter, and will help you out with figuring. You know out what are, is your competition ranking for and how can you rank higher than them yeah uh yeah the recording will be online yes yeah we'll be here later and if not uh you can always schedule something with me uh if you'd like uh, okay and the next question sure a little bit on the back link portion one moment Okay, so going back out, the reason why um, I even said that you could discover new opportunities for backlinks was because uh, looking at these different mentions, if I'm Toys R Us and I see, you know, uh, different competitors and also what pages uh, they actually are promoting themselves on, maybe I want to outreach to them. So that's why we say you could also acquire backlinks just by exploring this page and discovering where your, your competitors are promoting themselves, what domains, as well as we recently just updated this and we let you know if there is a backlink currently that you have, so Toys R Us has a back, has at least seven so far with the mentions below. Um, and we're saying there's 710 and 12 that are without backlinks so that they are not acquiring any backlinks with them. So that is an area of, you know, where you can, another opportunity for you to reach out. And what also brings me to uh, another favorite tool of mine, which is the link building, which is really awesome. That's that tool. And you can start the outreach and send an email template within SEM Rush. And that one's really exciting. Uh, I could click on that real quick if it lets, lets me load. Um, but definitely just understanding how your different uh, competitors are, you know, promoting themselves online, what domains you could look at for an opportunity for a backlink, and also understanding what backlinks you currently have up top here. We show you. Very brand new. We always like to be fresh and up to date here. Very, yeah. Take pride in that. Um, always updating, you know, look at all these tools. My God, don't worry. We'll go through them all. We will go through them all, everyone. It'll be fun. Um, it's always fun, you know, digital marketing. Um, but yeah, so that's just setting up and loading and 
Star Wars. Anyone see it? Want to comment about it? No? <laughs> I want to see it. I think I should. I think it'll be good. Okay. All right. Good vibes for the worldwide premiere. Oh, okay. 